Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and use Easy Ads apps on your Shopify. So basically, Easy Ads is an application that are going to help you create Facebook ads easily. And if you don't really know how to create ads through Facebook, you can use another alternative, which is the Easy Ads application. And we're going to go straight into it. So first thing first, what we're going to do is you're going to want to go to this search bars right here. And then you're going to want to type in easy ads. And if you can't find it immediately, you can always go to the uh, Shopify app store. I find the application right off the bat, but I'm going to try to show you the description. So I'm just going to search it on the app store. All right, so this is the Easy Ads application that we're searching for. You can see it says that it's an Easy Ads for Facebook ads. And it starts from $29.95 per month, but you'll be able to enjoy their free trial for 10 days. And it has a lot of benefits, such as targeting top audiences for your niche and retarget interested buyers automatically, done for you campaign templates with presets audience start getting an ad creative optimize your ads for maximum conversions with automatic ai optimizations and etc and once you got these apps all you have to do is click on install and it's going to bring us back into our shopify and it's going to give you all of the things that the apps are going to be able to access so this app is going to be able to see the personal data of the store owner as well as the store providers as well as view and edit the store data such as product and online store so you can read everything first before you click on install and if you're okay with it you can go ahead and click on install all right now that we got the application installed you can either watch a demo if you want i'm just going to go ahead and click on start free trial and it says here that throughout the free trial you will not be charged at all and the free trial period is going to be for 10 days and if you would like to cancel let's say that your 10 days free trial is done and you no longer want to use the app you can just uninstall the easy ads from your store setting and it's going to automatically cancel the app subscription because sometimes after the free trials the apps tends to automatically charge you with the subscriptions payment and if you don't want to be charged all you have to do is just to uninstall the apps immediately after you're done trying the apps so i'm just going to go ahead and click approve for now all right now that we got the application installed the next things we're going to do is we will have to connect our shopify or our easy ads application to our Facebook page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on connect Facebook and then give it access to connect to my Facebook. I'm going to continue. All right, once it's finished connecting, you're going to get a certification that says that you have successfully connected your Meta account. Then you can start and close the window. So the Facebook profile that is actually being connected into easy ads or into my Shopify right now is actually my personal profile but since my personal profile is also connected into my business account or business profile easy ads is going to automatically read the business account that is connected to your personal account and i feel like it's very helpful and if you happen to have more than just one business account you can just click on whichever account you will want to create ads on so through here it's going to show you the account that is connected into easy ads and this one is right so this is the account that i would like to connect if it's wrong you can always click on change account and log in into whichever facebook account you want to connect to easy ads and then you can choose the facebook page that you want as well as the business manager since i only have one business page I'm just going to choose this one instead and then as you know once you created a business page you will want to create a facebook ad account i've already created mine prior hand if you haven't created yours you can go ahead and create it first and then you can continue this step since i already have mine it's also pre-selected to me and then right now i also have to choose the facebook pixel or data set and it says that i don't have any 
active pixels or data sets under the selected account so i can just go ahead and click on check my pixels or data set and apparently i will have to create one first so i'm going to try and create my data sets and if you click on this, it's going to give you the tutorial on how you can add your data set or your pixel. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. All right, so it brings me to this pixel page on my Meta Business Settings. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on Assign Asset. And it's going to be Shopify Store and then click Add. Done. And now I got my pixels created. Once it's done, I can just go ahead and click on Create. All right, now that it's done, we can now start to choose on which product we will want to promote with Easy Ads. So we can go ahead and click on select product to promote and you can choose whether you want to promote all of the product or you can also just add some tags to your product and then choose the specific product with some tags to be promoted. Let's say if I want to promote everything, I'm going to choose the default fits category. So most of the products that I have on my shop is actually either clothing or jewelry. So I'm going to go and try to find for those category. All right, so this is going to be this one. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Now that I select the product, I can also style on how my product image will be shown on the ads. So it looks like this for now. I can add some decoration if I want to. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And now we're going to want to work on four stages. The first one is going to be awareness and then considerations, decisions, and loyalty. So let's take a look at the awareness ones. Through here, you will want to say some things that will catch us the eyes of the customers or the leads that you're trying to get so you can add the tags over here and once you're done you can repeat the process till the very last step the only difference is the text that you're going to put on each step needs to represent the goals of the step so for example if it's for awareness you will want to say something that will raise the brand awareness towards your customers or towards your leads and if it's for consideration you will want to say something that will make people consider to probably buy your product if it's a product that you're advertising and then on the third step you will want to say something that makes people make their decisions to buy your product and then last but not least you will want to create wordings that will make those customers who already bought the product from you to be loyal and they will come back to your shop in order to buy some more products so once it's done you can go ahead and click on launch and on the launch sections right here you'll be able to set the target to your audience so the age from to the age to as well as the gender the location the interests of your audience and then the languages that they speak as well as settings on the daily budget and whether you want to turn the ai automations on or not since the AI automation is going to let AI optimize your daily budgets for you automatically. And then once you're done with all of the settings, you can go ahead and click launch my ads. And there you go. Easy Ads already created the ads to promote the products that you have on your shop. And that's basically it. That is how you can install and use Easy Ads on your Shopify. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.